It's cold read time! About a pitch deck somebody has sent me. Never seen the deck before, and I want to use my 15 years or so of investing and building company experience to say everything I believe, at least, a good VC angel might think about your startup, but never ever tell you. Rockets! Reading simulator for kids to prevent reading disabilities, dyslexia. Uh, I'm assuming it's a for-profit company looking for investment. So it gets the same treatment. Good first slide, lovely logo, looks really nice. Now, this image demonstrates somebody using something. If I don't see anything in this deck around usage, um, I just wouldn't invest in it. I wonder if that is those who've been diagnosed versus the issue of dyslexia has gotten worse. At least some mediocre life outcomes and poor quality of life. Well, it is not my place to disagree with data like this. This is one of those things where even if these numbers aren't exactly accurate, the fact that these numbers exist at all means that this is a problem. Great problem to attempt to solve. I can already see on the left hand side ed tech and on the right hand side health tech. Because this is a, a medical or a clinical issue, the size of the market, particularly if you take into account the United States, will be enormous, but only from a health treatment point of view. It's going to be very hard to know whether this is actually the market for this. However, current treatments are ridiculously expensive. Worse than that, current treatments are ineffective because they're administered when it's too late. I just want to comment that actually this deck is doing something absolutely brilliant. It has immediately passed the flick test. Basically where all you do is read the headlines and you get pretty much 90% of the pitch. This is excellently presented so far. Well done. Uh, we figured out that reading issues are well corrected at an early age due to high neuroplasticity. So you're basically targeting three year old kids when they start to form the sense of reading. Um, I have young little shits myself, so I get it. Okay, now this is the innovation or the invention. Does this format of helping a dyslexic young human improve future outcomes, in particular, those three horrible outcomes, homelessness, uh, incarceration, and uh, attempted suicide. That is the problem that they've painted with data. And they're saying this will have a positive impact on that, which means me, as an investor immediately has the risk that if this doesn't positively contribute to that, I will not find this an ethical investment. Here's how the app works. One of threes. To be honest, from an investor's point of view, don't really care. 50 bucks. Now, one of the things many entrepreneurs mistake is who the user of something is and who the customer of something is. The user is the person who has the problem or the behavior that you're attempting to affect in a positive way. The customer is the person who ultimately financially benefits from that behavior happening. In this particular case, the customer is almost certainly going to be a parent. $50 a month for a parent, even with a child that may have dyslexia, feels challenging, especially when on YouTube, there are lots and lots of supportive videos self-identified as being useful for young children who may have dyslexia. So when comparing $50 to free, this needs to be so outstanding to be able to pull people away from things which are either free or, you know, $4.99. And because earlier they seem to have painted the market as being an ed tech and health tech market, they're probably pricing in that domain, but the customer doesn't live in that domain. So they will not appreciate this price point. Immediately now have a question about whether this business model makes any sense. Pre-orders? Oh! Because at the beginning there was a screenshot of somebody using something. Produced the first lessons and tested it on 100 plus children. Benefit of the doubt that this is just written in a way that could have been clearer. I'm going to assume it does exist. Olga? Perfect fit. I mean, that is somebody who studied the subject, has demonstrated they're in the top 5% of something really fucking hard. Yeah, great. What a fit. Uh, masters in computer science and has a previous exit based in psychology. So this is an excellent example of founder fit. All right, hands down, here's where I'm at. Excellent deck.
It really is. It's a really good deck. I, I can't really fault it all that much. I, I am left being unsure whether the thing exists. I'm also um, thinking that they may not have identified their customer properly. But because it's an early fundraise, I'm okay that they don't really know their customer just yet. So long as they're taking what we call at the Rattle an invention-led approach. It's where you invent something that changes behavior first and then you try and understand the commercial value to identify your customer. Obviously, that has a higher risk of you never finding a customer. However, that being said, uh, if you get it right, you often have a much higher return profile. Damn! Good luck, Olga. I hope this goes well. That is an excellent deck.